not just for me. <laughs> uh, I love that stuff. <laughs> you guys are dope. Um, I'm 34 years old, and uh, I know I look young, still have my baby face, but you know, black people, we age like a Big Mac. <laughs> I say that because I don't know if you've ever seen that video online of a Big Mac and an organic burger aging together for four months at the same time. After four months, that Big Mac looked like an Instagram model. <laughs> at the end of the video, it's just up there like, look at my bun. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> that organic burger looked like Benjamin Button. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> Throw me away. Throw me away. That's why I think that's McDonald's secret ingredient. Black people. <laughs> yeah, man. Stay woke, man. Why do you think they always have black people in those commercials? After those commercials, they are gone. They turn black people into chicken nuggets. They not gonna get me. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, you ever had like leftover McDonald's refrigerator? It never molds. It just gets hard. <laughs> it never molds. It just gets hard, man. After a couple weeks, you open up your fridge, your nuggets, like, yo, what's up? Oh. <laughs> I, just, I just want my leftover pasta. It's my pasta. <laughs> you gonna eat me? No. Well, then close the fridge. Okay. <laughs> Nuggets are so aggressive. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I'm I'm woke, but I try not to be too woke. Just, being woke is just so exhausting. You know what I'm saying? Like you're so woke, like I wanna sleep. <laughs> but you can't sleep because it's like, nah, they want me to sleep. <laughs> I gotta stay woke. <laughs> Can't stand it. Like, I'm woke on food where, you know, trying to figure out the diet. The best diet for us, like, no more diabetes and hypertension, you know. And we can't eat fast food. But it's hard because McDonald's raised me. <laughs> had my sixth grade birthday party there. <laughs> we all have a piece of that restaurant in our life, man. Remember high school? You cut class during lunch and you go get some McDonald's fries and you come back with everybody like, yo, let me get a fry. And you like a drag queen, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> These are for my <laughs> You're all sheep until you get older. <laughs> it gave us that moment. Then you get older in your 20s, you watch Super Size Me or you watch any food documentary on Netflix, which is the new horror movie. <laughs> you watch two food documentaries on Netflix and then the next day go to your supermarket, you're like, ah! Ah! <laughs> This is how I'm doing. What are these chemicals on the box? I can't pronounce. Why do they not care? <laughs> so I'm just like, all right. So then, what is the best diet for you? And we figure it out, man. The real, the best one is really like plant-based, vegan. Real talk, man. Any vegans, I salute you. Real talk. Like I, I was a vegan for one meal. <laughs> <laughs> And you have to be consistent with that diet. Monday, uh, not not Monday, like the breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner. I would be a vegan if every day at four o'clock a cow would come to my house and be like, "Look, I see what you're doing, and I appreciate it." <laughs> it can even be DJ Khaled in a cow outfit. <laughs> I just need somebody to know I'm sacrificing. Just like that, this is a major key right now. And I'm up to that, thank you very much. I've been farting nonstop. I can't have another of the mommy, I can't. I'm so hungry. You know, do the pigs, do the pigs know my sacrifice? Do they know what I'm doing? The pigs appreciate you. They'll be here tomorrow at four o'clock to also congratulate you. Okay, good. Cause you know, I don't care about corporations, you know. I'm gonna go back inside and have my cucumber hummus sandwich. Ah, I'm so hungry. Uh, I um, try not to be too well, just keep it chill. Seriously, man, like hip hop, 
we already know is misogynistic. But you know what it is? I don't like the ego in it no more. I don't like the male ego. It's like, yeah, I stole your girl. No, you didn't. I was whack, and she went to you. <laughs> Stop acting like she didn't walk over there. Like she doesn't have legs. It takes away woman's choice, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you stole my girl, like, that's kidnapping. <laughs> that's a whole other song. I have to listen to the song for the ransom? <laughs> Got your girl in the club, 50 grand. Who, which club? So listen, are you out there? We love you, we miss you. Please hit me on the gram. I, I don't know which Migos has, huh? <laughs> We gonna be good, y'all. Don't be sad, man. I know this country's in a weird state right now. Like, like, you know, we have the president, he's in there. But you know what's crazy? He don't even, he's not even at the White House. Like, I really wish he would just Airbnb that to us so we could see how Obama lived. <laughs> and then when we finish, we go home and then we just call our bank like, oh, somebody stole my car. <laughs> because we're petty. I don't know, I don't really worry about him. You know, I don't worry about, I worry about white supremacy. Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, I don't, like, what do they want? <laughs> what do they want? They lost a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> like, cause I'm not going back. <laughs> I have too many sneakers, I'm not going back. <laughs> You know how crazy that be? Put all my sneakers on cargo and then they get lost at sea. Now I'm in Africa with loafers. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Where are my Yeezys in this country? <laughs> Look, man, I don't hate them, though. No. I don't hate them, man. Like, I know my history. This country's built on 500 years of oppression. We built their wealth, but I don't walk around like freaking white supremacists. I don't do that. I just don't believe in paying backs to the loans. <laughs> That's my reparation. <laughs> Every time they hit me up, I just put a cotton ball in the envelope, send it right to them. <laughs> Did you get my payment? Cause I have more cotton. He called me from a number I don't recognize, and I'll send more cotton. <laughs> Once I figure out how to vent more cotton, it's a wrap. <laughs> All right, you guys are good, man. Thank you so much. You support my stand up. We're both waiting. We both absolutely knew that was happening. Guys, we are prepared.